Yes, yes, yes. Black Pearl, we are back. Oh my. Finals. Finals. 
the women's team event having their finals on court two live Uganda versus Egypt first match versus Dohani. In the second finals we have Egypt versus Algeria champions. Anu from Nigeria the one and only Olympian, <laughs> Olympian. Olympian. <laughs> the first African only player is it no oh yes Olympians. what great to have you here yeah. the box and Africa number one African champion all the accolades we can talk about badminton in Africa. Welcome, the viewers, and tell us what you think about this event finals between uh, Egypt and Algeria, the defending champions. Anu. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, what I think about um, the event, I think it's going to be a very interesting one. Uh, we have um, very two strong players from Africa that are facing each other right now. I think the strengths are of the same, and um, we are here to have a very good, to watch a very good match. And I think it's going to be very interesting between between Algeria and Egypt. Lovely, lovely, lovely. With me also here in the studio, the one and only legendary Black Paul Edwin Ekirin from Uganda, based in the Netherlands. Talk about. The women's team event finals. Uganda, I know your heart is there. <laughs> Always has been versus Egypt, who are also the defending champions. All right, I'll talk about the Uganda. Uganda, they made history for the first time. Team Uganda in the team events to make the finals. It's an history moment for Uganda. And I think it's going to be difficult for Uganda, but it can be... It's difficult for both teams, I'll say that. It, because Alge uh, because Egypt, uh, they have been there before, you know, Uganda is the first time. So they need to try to bring their level. Uganda needs to bring the level up so that it's, it's, it's not going to be an easy match for Uganda. And I'll talk about the, uh, the main singles. Be before you leave, uh, uh, you cross over to the main singles. I just want to ask you a question. Uh, Egypt and Uganda, uh, both, uh, they met in the group stages. Yeah, 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 yeah. Egypt won. Uh, what strategies do you think Uganda is going to employ to make sure they don't get a second defeat uh, from uh, Egypt? No, we'll use the same team. I don't think we need to change the no, same team. No, what strategy? What strategy uh, do you think uh, Coach Kabindi is going to uh, employ? I, I, I don't know because uh, I think the first team, even though even though we lost, the, even though Uganda lost the, um, the in the pools, but it was closed. It was a closed match, uh, three two. Three two, yeah. Yeah, but it was closed match. It's better. For if I'm a coach, it's better to use the same team and the same uh, strategy. I don't change the strategy. In the, in, in the, in the last uh, match, in last encounter, yeah. Fadila lost the yeah, first yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, men, yeah, women singles. Yes, tactically, I think Fadila, she needs to change a few things. Basically, let's go back to the match on court one, Egypt versus Algeria. I know you've played against El Gawal. What can you tell us? What uh, does uh, uh, Sabri Medel, or what is his name, Yusuf Sabri Medel, expect from El Gamal? We've seen him demolish other opponents early in the group matches. A very, very good player with very acrobatic moves. Yeah. Um, I think um, the thing is, I have played both of them actually before, and both of them are very good players. And um, for the past, like, I think two Thomas um, Cup now. Um, Algeria have one way or the other won the um, tournament. So I'm hoping maybe the history can the history can be changed today. And I'm actually interested in the game. But what, 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 what do you think tactically? What do you think tactically uh, 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 the Egyptian player can do, or the uh, Algerian players has to do tactically to think that they can win this match tactically? I think um, the best um, thing to, for them to do is um, the strengths are of like 50 50. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. the best way is either the Egyptians win three straight singles yeah. and take the cup, 
or um, the Algerians have their doubles as a strength yeah, yeah, yeah. and take the match to the doubles line yeah, and yeah. they get to win. So yeah. I think that so, is... So you, so you think Algeria needs to win only one single? No, because I think the um, Egyptians need to win the main single the, three. The, the, the three, three, yes. But, but Algeria needs to, need to win at least one. Do it just one, yeah. Yes, okay. But yeah. in this match... Yeah. In this match, yeah. what do you think, who is the strongest in this match? Um, from the re recent form that I have observed, yeah, yeah. I think um, Adam is have a little bit of advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but um, the result is not yet out. Yeah, yeah. So we should look forward to the um, result that yeah. is going to come out. Okay, okay. Yes, beautiful, beautiful from both of my commentators right here, Black Pal and Anu. Well, on court two, Doha has not started well. Ekerin, what do you think Doha should do to contain the fire that is coming from Fadila? It's not easy. It's not easy because Fadila is at home. She has all the energy and Doha needs, she needs to compose herself, you know? If she wants to play, she needs to compose herself. She needs to be into the game. She needs to focus. She doesn't have to make so much mistakes. If Fadila gets the, if Fadila she gets the, the rhythm, it's gonna be difficult for uh, for Doha. Now you see she's making some unforced error. And in this match, I see uh, the player from uh, Algeria is complaining about the noise, but it's allowed. The noise is allowed. You know. Yes. If it, because I, I played, I played in uh, my last World Championship. I played in Indonesia. Indonesia is like party. It screams everywhere, screaming. Uh, fans are screaming everywhere. So, so it's 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 uh, it's normal. So the players doesn't have to. You don't have to focus about the fans. What the fans are doing. You came here to play. Focus on your game. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Great advice from the one and only Edwin Ekrin, one of the cup players, highest cup players. In Africa, the match is underway. I don't, uh, Doha, she needs to try to be calm, but now she's really a bit nervous. She's making easy and close errors. Yeah, I think she needs to try to be a bit patient. Well, you can catch all the action on court two. Women's team finals between Egypt and Uganda. Uganda seeking to make history and qualify for the first time. Remember, the winner of this event is going to represent Africa in the Thomas Cup finals in Bangkok. Uh, here, what do you think uh, the player from uh, Algeria needs to do better? Because now he's making such an uh, easy, easy unforced errors. And what do you think he has to do? Um, I think he has to calm his pressure. Mm -hmm. um, he's under a lot of pressure right now. He wants to win at all costs. He's mm -hmm. thinking about what should I do to win. That is why all his shots are going wide most of the time. Yeah. And um, Adam is actually just returning basically all the shots. So he's not really playing that much, but he's just, he's just giving it to him. Okay, you, you go, make the mistake. Yeah. I'll just fight for the shots and return it. So, and Sabri is making it easier for him. So he has to get his game together yeah. for him to be able to uh, 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 at least but put the, on a very good fight. But the thing what I'm seeing about the Algerian player is complaining about the fans. Because that's not good for his mental thinking and focus in the game. Because when you think about, because there are other fans that focus on the Ugandan match, you know, the fans yeah. are, uh, because the points are not the same. Yes. So he needs to be more composed in his in his game. Yeah, I but think um, I think it's the part of the pressure is also going through mm -hmm. because um, he's complaining about almost everything because he just wants a situation that we prefer him. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. really. Um, want to take it as in want to, you know, so he's um, looking for an excuse, you know, just to get away with 
it's um for, um with this stuff that is just yeah, yeah yeah so he should just to me i think it's better for him to just forget about it black out the noise noises and if you focus on it's, a part, it's part of the game you know? yes because you're gonna you have to get uh, you have to adjust to any situation yes yes so oh, what a smash what a smash uh, yes That's that a was a very good smash. one yeah yeah i totally agree with you i totally agree with you that he has to learn to adjust to the situation yeah. and right now i think he's just doing uh he's just playing what he just want to play and um not really putting on a very good fight but just complaining yeah. about the noise and, and the other thing is i don't see it tactically because he's just playing back what uh, adam was playing is just following adam that's other thing yeah. he hasn't controlled the net yet he's just playing everything back uh, yeah I, um i think everything should go back to uh, his um, pressure that is going on you just want to quickly take the point just like they want it to like now mm -hmm. and uh, which actually it's good for him but yeah. he needs to understand that he has to work adam at for more uh, points if he wants to take more points yeah thank you yep lovely lovely beautiful play explosive badminton right here and as we see what is El Gamal yes. with a beautiful smash down the line that i mean that was so awesome <laughs> Yeah. You guys have played in such finals. What does it take to just hold your nerves and, you know, bring your game and play your game the way you have trained and planned and listen to what your coach is saying? Uh, it takes a lot of mental strength to be able to um, gain your, um, to be able to do what you planned and be able to execute the shots. It takes a lot of mental strength and and you have to be ready for the game and be totally focused. So um, that's why majority of athletes, we are always on the line of focus almost every time. Yeah. I think you always have to be in the game 100% or 110%. If you're not in the game 100, 110%, then you're going to lose. Sometimes you, you, sometime you're not going to have, you're going to be all the time focused, but you, oh, at least you need to be, that's what I said, 110% focused, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Great. El Gamal is leading with a very wide margin as the medal keeps on making. And, and for Sarah. I, I think we should look at the women's um, game. It's it's going to be an upset for the, for the first game for Doha, and I think the girl is really really pushing it for her. Um, and she's forcing her to make a lot of unforced error right now. But I think Doha, she's not in the game for now. because I don't know why she's making so unforced errors. I think she needs to compose herself. Now she's following the Ugandan girl. What's Ugandan girl doing? She's just following. I yeah. haven't seen any tactic, from, for her, any tactic from, from her. What she has to do, what she has to play. That's, I haven't seen that. Yeah, I'm also surprised. Like, um, like this kind of game from Doha. But... It is uh, what we are seeing right now, and it is so surprisingly that um, this margin of discourse is kind of big. I mm. hope uh, maybe in the second game, or maybe she can also get a game during. We don't mm. know yet, but we should just focus on the game and yeah. see what is going to happen. Yeah, but in this game, what do you think uh, the player from uh, Algeria has to do to, over to turn the game? Because right now the game was easy. It was like 21-8. Uh, uh, yes. So what do you think he has to do? Uh, he just have to um, focus and black out the noise that he says is disturbing him. Mm -hmm. And um, he also need to get into the game and work harder. He's playing a strong opponent. So he doesn't have to look for a very cheap point. If not, he will keep making a lot of mistakes. And mm -hmm. he will not be able to get the game right and... You know, before you know it, as a badminton, it will just be game over. But ta tactically, yeah. he needs to control the net, he needs to go for smash. What do you think tactically? Because I haven't seen any uh, tactically has done. I think he needs to play everything more. I think yeah. he's trying to play the net and smash uh, yeah, first. Yeah. Then yeah. he keeps losing the smash almost every time. Yeah, it's wide, wide smash. Yes, out. yes. So I think he needs to play everything. He needs to get in into the game. Sometimes in the body, yes. smash in the body. He yeah. needs to get into the game and that is what he should be doing. Yeah. And um, we are expecting more from him. Mm. So hopefully this second game there's going to be a change. 
in the yeah, yeah, yeah. in the uh, in statics, and yeah. he's going to learn from the uh, from his previous game on yeah. um, the first game and uh, improve more on it in the second game. So I'm um, hoping it happens. And beautiful, beautiful. Remember, if you want to catch all the actions on Code Two, the finals between Egypt and Uganda, it is live on our YouTube channel. Currently, we are back on court one. Medal trying to recover from the loss of the first game. This is the men's team event finals. Winners, as you see, that beautiful cross court smash from El Gamal. Yeah, I think uh, that's one of the favorite uh, smash from um, Adam. Um, I have seen him. Um, eat that same shot for like, um, like, like ten times in dif uh, two different games now. It's like a party inside the hall. Uganda's fans are going crazy because they've won the first uh, uh, game. From yeah, you see that the fans are going crazy. <laughs> uh, just uh, would love to correct you. Yeah. Remember, due to COVID, yeah, yeah, but we are not allowing. Uh, so the noise you're hearing is just from a few players, team members <laughs> who are already accredited and tested and everyone is COVID negative. Beautiful play from El Gamal, really the man to watch even in the individuals. Uh, Anu, I know you've got a lot of experience. <laughs> First of all, I just want to know your experience and you can tell your fellow you know african players the experience you got when you played all england and when you went for the world championship oh. ekrin has been there oh, but yeah? maybe they will not uh, relate to ekrinism from another era the uh, stone yeah. age yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. with this player same age maybe they will relate more to you when they hear their fellow friend and player uh, the experience they got when they went for the world championships and 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 all england big tournaments yeah um the all england is uh, a very strong tournament uh, one of the oldest in badminton history uh i think every player aspired to play it and i was so happy playing it um when uh, when i entered the chat so the experience was so exciting and we get to play Thailand. You no, know, um, we get to play Indonesia at first. Then the COVID issue um, happens. Then we were able to uh, have a second run. It's very news that we were able to you know to qualify second round in uh, in England. So it was a very interesting experience and we're happy to play it. And also in the World Championship, I'm so glad that. I I mean, like, I, I, I have been dreaming to play it for, like, all my, all my life. Like, okay, this is, this is World Championship. I, I have got to play it. But this, that feeling, that feeling when I, I was on the court, the whole world is looking at me, just like the name, just like, uh, yes. I was like, oh, uh, wow, this kind of thing. Then, um, in the first game, I really um, played against... Um, plays against the Japanese guy and it was good it was very good it's also experience um, Koki Watanabe he was a very good um, player and I did um, the first game I played very well but the second game before I knew it which because of a lot of rally and I got injured and because of the weather and everything then um, I couldn't play um, the second game that much then they, um, then he was leading like zero in love. I was like, should I give up? Should I scratch? No, I can't. Okay, let me just call the doctor. So, then. <laughs> Amazing experience. Uh, you are also an Olympian. I'm sitting next to two Olympians. A kidding. 1960 Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually twice. 
twice at the Olympics, 2004 and 2006? No, no, no. no, no. Uh, sorry, 2004? No, no. No, 2004? No. Okay, correct me then. 2008, 2016, uh, 2012. 08. And, and uh, 12. And 12. Sorry, I know I was just joking. I know you are not that old. <laughs> it's okay. Two Olympians with me. Well, such a beautiful moment. Experience uh, Black Pearl at the Olympics. I, I see uh, Anu still having, you know, like 10 mobile phones here at the commentary box. You know, everything is written Tokyo, 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 Tokyo. <laughs> even the ring, the watch, everything is Tokyo, even slippers. I still have my, my London. <laughs> yeah, I can see you also still have your London. I can see London, all the bands. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What is the feeling uh, when you become an Olympian? Something that all the players around here aspire to be. Um, I think it's a good. It's a. It's a I think it's really. It's. I don't know. I don't know. How to, I don't know how. To, I don't know how to express it. It's a good feeling to be an, an Olympian. It's. Yeah. It's really. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's a good feeling. It's uh, amazing. It's. It's large. I don't know. Yeah, but me, I think uh, it's a very good feeling to be part of the um, Olympic community. Yeah. You know, um, when they gave us the title, like, Oli, the title Oli, and they were like, ah, it's a very good title and everything, you know, it makes you, it makes you feel alive to be part of a community. You know, you are like, okay, I have, I, I have a very good achievement. This is the peak of the sportsmanship. You know, this is um, what other sportsmen dream of whenever they wake up. I want to be an Olympian. And you, are, you have been there. And you have been tied to the one. So I think the feeling, it's, um, it's how would I put it? It's kind of, you are, you are very happy. You're happy. Very, very. Excited. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of mixed. Yes. Oh, well something that all the players here are looking forward to maybe one day they will become olympians elgaman leading 10-8 we have to give a special shout out to all our fans in egypt and uh, algeria i know ali al khatib watching keenly our live transmission and all the other fans in the world all over africa we are all here live streaming this all africa senior championships men team event algeria versus egypt and in the women's team event code 2 which is also live on our youtube channel egypt versus the first time finalist uganda earlier yesterday we saw some beautiful beautiful moments from uganda celebrating their qualification in the finals of the women team event uh Ekerin, you were part of the celebrations how did it feel to be there it's, uh, it's because the, the girls made an history the first uh, ugandan team to get into the finals of thomas so it was an history uh i think they worked so hard for this so they deserved it so they deserved it it doesn't matter if they win if they lose i i'm really so proud of them what they did it's really, really, really good. And at the Ugandan soil, so it's really, really, yeah, good. Great. Uh, as this match uh, between Egypt and Algeria progresses, uh, if we look at the order of the play, the way it has uh, been uh, the first three men's uh, singles and then the two men's double, uh, where do you think the fight is going to be? Where is the fight? Um, the the second men singles. The second men singles. Second men singles. Yeah. This it's is the deciding one. Yeah. Yes, yes. And uh, it's very important for either of the team to yeah. take the second singles. Yeah. Um, even on the norms, it's important, but this one is more crucial for them actually. Because so because if Egypt wins, Algeria they have pressure, and this match is really important for them. Uh, the second men singles to win. Salah, if Salah, Salah this morning did not play that well. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. He made so much unforced errors. But if he if he gets 
Good. Uh, Raheem. Yeah. I think it's going to be. It's 50. I'll say that. It can go. I think. Mm. The second main singles. Yes, yes. Um, Salah can may not play very well in the morning, yeah. but uh, sometimes his game switched. So uh, it's actually unpredictable. Yeah. Just like what um, Mede is doing right now, I think he's trying to buy time for himself to be able to get into the game, then be able to um, be able to play what he knows how to play, like um, his best strokes and everything. <laughs> you understand? So. Um, looking at it, it's something to Salah also. So, Salah game is very, very unpredictable. So, we have to just watch out for the second game also. And right now, I'm also seeing that the game is really difficult for Doha Hani. Um, she, yeah, she's back, but the girl is still making it a little bit difficult and it's really maybe upsetting her ah, up. Yes, definitely. I was actually going to ask uh, about uh, the finals in the second uh, in the women's team uh, where is the fight where which one is the deciding match in the women's uh, team event finals Ekeri. if Uganda wins uh, the match this one even the, sec the second match for Uganda Uganda they have uh, an opportunity to win the second the second um, match too so yeah it's 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 50 50 too because uh, the already played they played in the juniors together the matches you know the the two the two uh, the second the second um single for the ladies singles so it's 50 50 too and yeah it's it's still it's still open i'll say the matches are still open yes i i want to believe in the women's the fight is going to be at the double stage that's when we'll know who is actually, you know, going to qualify. But anyway, we're just commentators. Everything is happening on court. The fire is on court yeah. right here yeah. at Lugogo Stadium. Is Medel playing really well? <laughs> Medel playing really well in the. Uh, this second game, but but I think um, Al Gamal uh, is I don't know what happened. He started well, like uh, he played on his on his speed, but now it's it, it's it's slowed down. I, I I want to believe, and I've watched him uh, most of the time. Yeah, he doesn't really play very well in the second game. Sometimes yeah, uh, because it's 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 difficult to play the same tempo. Yeah. And it's always it's, it's a, a quite a fast fast guy. Yeah. It's not easy to play same tempo from yeah. the beginning to the end. Second games are always tricky for him, but yeah. then again, he's got such huge ability to just change the game, just yeah. like that. You know, he's got amazing, amazing ability. That's a good shot for by Padilla. Medal taking the lead. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Let's call level at 15 on. But I don't know if Medal is injured or not because it's every time he's uh, making sure he's holding his back, you know. What a beautiful, good shot. beautiful net shot from uh, Medel. Oh, lovely, lovely play.
Yeah, I think um, Doha is having a time um, controlling the shot too right now. And another oh. unforced error yes. from El Gamal. And I also think um, Adama is distracted with the game um, in the second court. I also think so. So I think they are actually working in unison. So they, um, do I have to take a win before Ad Adam before Adam gets his control back? Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful actions going on. Remember, you can catch this and cut this live on our YouTube channel. Going on on court two. Back to court one. Medal really almost giving us an opportunity of having a third game oh and messes it up messes it up and he can really feel the pain of not uh, yeah. converting this second game first time of asking like what like what i have mentioned earlier when uh, the game was about 10 10 he was actually giving he was actually trying to put the game to his side so that he can be able to you know, beautiful um to be able to uh, get the game to his own favor just like the way um he took this second game right now um, i think he knows that is but that is part of his tactics when he talks about tactics that is my best uh, strategy on court uh, he has this um ways of you no know, um putting the game to his own side maybe to maybe a little bit of distractions to the opponent or something like that and exploit the uh this uh that uh loop o in his opponent side so this is just what happened in the second game so adam need to overcome such strategy in the third game and i'm really looking forward to way uh, on how he's going to overcome that yes definitely uh black pearl before you even talk about this i just wonder because also in code two we are going for the third game. Doha surviving, leveling the score 1 1. What do you think Fadila needs to do now? Yeah, she won the first set because she was moving. For, uh, she, she did not make so much unforced error. But I think Doha played much better, less unforced error, and controlling the rallies. That's what she did. So Fadila, she has to overcome that. So. Beautiful, beautiful analysis from the black pearl uh back to our match this is court one finals men's team event el gamal uh, i can see maybe uh medel has an injury the doctors uh, doctor attending to him uh, hopefully he can get uh, back into the game and continue There's some stoppage of play as uh, Mendes medal is being attended by the doctor. back like medal is feeling much better L lovely display of badminton I think Fadila now she's 
taking, she's used, she's playing, uh, she's take, she's, how do you say, not um, bad decisions when she's playing. Bad decisions when she's playing. Anyway, let's get back to the court one. Yeah, I know your heart is on court two. Let's see if El Gamal is going to bring his A game and play better. And it looks like really he's starting off with more power. Anu, what do you think? Uh, I think this third game is going to be a real game. Um, both, of, both of the players are in good shape right now. And um, I don't think uh, Adam has any other distraction that is um, uh, happening to him right now. Because the, on the other side, though, I actually doing well uh, with her court and uh, Adam is uh, right here trying to uh, you know, level up the game to just finish up the um, game with um, Yeah, because in the well, second set, yeah. he slowed down his game. Yes, yes. Instead of continuing, mm -hmm. because the medal who was, who, who was like a second injured, yes. playing around and then slowed down the game. Instead of saying, okay, let me finish up the game. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, that is the strategy I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, that they use this almost almost every time. Yeah. Um, you make you think it's very weak. Then yeah. you have to psychologically slow down. Yeah. And um, when you slow down, then you don't get your game together. Yeah. Then you before you know it, you yeah. lose it. Yeah. You yeah. understand? Yeah. So I think Adam is trying to overcome that um, that stress right now and uh, that uh, weakness that yeah. is that um, made them put in, into his brain right now. So he's trying all his best. Um, to overcome it. That's why he's trying to uh, know, uh, increase the pace of the um, game so that it can uh, know, uh, outdone him with no time and no excuses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's true, that's true, that's true. Uh, that's a good analyze, you know. Yeah, let's hope, let's hope uh, El Gamel is going to stay focused. You know, yeah. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Medal still so much into this game. But it's going to be very, very tough. Very tough for either of the players. Remember, these are the finals and everything is on the line. Lovely, 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 lovely yeah. rally. Uh, it's straight on the line. I thought this was going out. Yeah, but there's a funny drift <laughs> just there. If you are not very careful and mis <laughs> misjudge, the shuttle comes back in. Uh, okay, I think uh, Doha is getting her game back and uh, she's doing it. Yeah. Yeah, but I think tactically, uh, Doha she's back, but I think tactically, Fadila she's playing, uh, she's not taking good decisions when she's playing tactically. Be or maybe that's a tactic, she wants to play fast, 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 because at the beginning she was playing really well. And then, yeah, tactically, I think not, not really, not really uh, good. Oh, what a smash. Yeah, um, may they always have a very good angle for smashing. Yeah. Yeah. So, but he makes, also makes a lot of mistakes with that angle. Especially when he's not psychologically stable. He makes a lot of um, uh, mistakes. But he has a very good angle for smashes. Yeah. That's what you just said yeah. right now. Uh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be oh no what a miss yeah <laughs> yeah my commentators 
drifting into court two. Well, let me bring our viewers back to court one, where El Gamal has taken the lead 7-6. And, uh, well, we can see the agony that on Medel's face. Yeah. Really not happy yeah, it's about really that mistake. 8-6. I guess makes a man makes a man to the earlier mistake yeah like i said before this third match is going really going to be interesting right now both of them are really um taking their chances lovely lovely play lovely play medal really hanging on you cannot believe that this is the person who played the first game, really, this time. Medal yes. hanging no, on. But, 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 um, Algamal played well in the, in the first, first, game. first game because he didn't give him chance. And then he, he threw down. He, he's, he, it's the same thing. Now, now he's playing on his pace. You know? He's playing on his pace. That's why he's, now he's getting the pressure. The pressure is coming to him. Just like I said, um, Mede is just um, exploring the loophole yeah, in yeah. Adam because he strategically uh, make Adam think he's very weak. Then mm. Adam have to rethink his um, battle strategy. Yeah. You understand? Then now he's trying to come back. Then he's making a lot of mistakes yeah, along yeah. the way, and this is giving Mede um, a good advantage point. And I hope Adam is able to overcome it as soon as possible. Well, this is really, really tough on El Gemal. He wasted his chances in the second game. So this is very crucial. Yes. If Egypt loses the first single, things are going to be very tight on them. Remember, yes. Algeria are the defending champions. Yes. They've won this before. Yeah. They've gone to the Thomas Cup. Yes. And they're like, hungry to represent yes. Africa again Once in again. the Thomas Cup uh, finals. Yes. Ten all is the score. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely from Medel. Beautiful, beautiful encounter. The game, third game. At interval, medal in the lead, 11-10. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, oh lovely, lovely. From El Medel. Really, of the two right now, you can see Medel is more composed and uh, some pressure creeping in on uh, El Gamal. Good play. Good play. Thirteen ten. A oh, lovely, lovely smash from Medal. He's got some pain.
It's 14.10. Beautiful, beautiful from Madel. Was a good smash, but it went out. The thing is, I'm really lost right now because the game is really interesting. Oh no. <laughs> As we watch, Honey winning on court two, beating Fadila. But a lovely, lovely game. Lovely game from Fadila, really. A young, young girl with all the talent and all the time to shine in Africa. Edwin. Yeah? The talent of Fadila really at this age and you're taking the african champion to the third game yeah it's you know she worked hard for it she has to be proud that she played really well even though she wants to win but she worked she worked hard for it so she has to really really be proud that she, she they all the old team that they qualified in the finals yes and i was not expected to qualify in the finals yes but Oh, what a smash what by Al-Gamal. But Al-Gamal needs to stay more in the game. More well, in the game. More in the game and focus. It's, it's going to be tough to imagine Medel is going to give uh, uh, this uh, big lead. Give up. Oh, oh well. Anything can happen in bad No, no, but he needs to be... Um, Al-Gamal needs to be more, more in the game. In the game. Um, mistake, mistake, mistake from El Gamal. Now it's the Algerian time to celebrate Anu. Um, I think it's not your time to celebrate. I think it's not your time. I think it's not your time to celebrate yet. Um, the game is not over. The game is still on. So anything that happen, um, Adam can still make a comeback from what I'm seeing. It's just three points away from um, the uh, from the scores, and we don't know what he's capable of, or maybe he has a secret that is just. Um, yes, this weapon, keeping, eh? yes. <laughs> yeah, this weapon. Yes. Yeah, we seek it weapon. We don't know yet. So we just until the game is over. Yes. Medal on the verge of winning. Oh well, Al Gamal judging it well. Oh, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back, Kampanadin. Welcome back. Match point to medal. I don't see El Gamal coming back from this. He's not showing the tenacity that we know, you know. Yeah, I think, uh, Adam.
Adam is really having uh, this uncertainty about his strokes right now, and which are really affect him. But um, I think I've, I've see, I have not uh, given up yet on him until the game is over. You understand? So um, there might still be a comeback. We don't know yet. So uh, we should just keep on. It is 1720, and let's hope maybe it can get this point or not. Um, we shall see. Yeah, it's 1820, and uh, I think it's catching up. Uh, yeah, it may, it may not be too late. It's not over until it is over. Until it's over, all oh, that lady sings. <laughs> oh, and there it is. There it is. Medal throws his racket up. Beautiful, beautiful, the Algerians happy. A, but, uh, okay, it was late. But it was, uh, I don't know, you would have let it in the net. Not, because it did, I, I don't know, maybe it was too far. Uh, to my option, um, he has the option to also make block it lob. It. Yeah, block or block it. also. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, if it's going to lob, I think it should uh, make it more higher. Yeah. Like, uh, very, very high. So even though it falls, it can still make a comeback, like mm -hmm. a little bit of 50 or 40 percent chances yeah, of yeah. taking retrieving the shot. But it just slipped, then it uh, it got slipped, then you no, know, yeah. uh, it couldn't recover. So yeah, yeah. which is a um, tough um, game and a tough luck for Egypt in the first game. But we hope uh, maybe there was a comeback in the second game, and uh, I think uh, it's going to be a very interesting finals in each yeah. each um, game yeah. suddenly suddenly ah uh, beautiful beautiful thank you Well, as uh, Anu leaves the commentary box, I'm still here with uh, the Black Pearl. A little bit disappointed that uh, Fadila yeah. didn't uh, make it. But uh, I think uh, Uganda still uh, have a big, big chance. And uh, we'll cut to the interview session. Uh, then we'll catch up with the second <laughs> men's singles in this men's team event finals between Egypt and Algeria. Over to you, media team, for the interview. Uh, welcome to Africa Senior Championship 2022 Women's Team Event Finals. Egypt against Uganda. First match won by Egypt, Doha Hani, three sets. Quite tough. Another good start at the first set, but you managed to do it with your experience. Just tell us what's happening and what. How do you feel about your performance? Um, actually, first of all, I had an injury uh, in my ankle. Uh, it's quite tough uh, at the beginning. Uh, I don't know, but uh, my performance wasn't as good. Uh, but I'm happy that I confirmed the match and uh, I won it again. And I won it. So, when you play, when you play Uganda in, in, in group stage, and now again in the final. So what is the difference you can feel between the group stage and the final? Uh, actually in the group stage it's a uh, I need you now. Uh, but now in the final uh, they want to win and also we. So um, yeah, it's quite tough in the, in the final. So final last question. So what about your injury? Just tell us how do you feel now? Is it okay to continue the, the competition? Um, I will continue. I have to continue. Uh, but it's a little bit bad. So wish you all recovery. Take you some rest. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, my God, I'm going to be...
And uh, welcome to All Africa Senior Championship Men's Team Event Final, Algeria against Egypt. First match won by Algeria, Sabri. Very good match, very strong comeback. First set was not good enough, so many mistakes, but by the end, he managed to win. He's training uh, a lot uh, at Bordeaux, at Talens. In Bordeaux, uh, in Talens. Uh, at l'Académie de, uh, de Hugo. Uh, Hugo Academy. Hugo Academy. Hugo Academy. Hugo, Sylvain. And Sylvain. Et voilà, je me suis entraîné dur. He's training uh, every day uh, like in the morning and in the afternoon for this result. Et so, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. C'est pas facile de battre le champion d'Afrique. Uh, it wasn't easy. Uh, Okay. So, this is my next question. When you play the uh, African champion last year, Adam, he was African champion last year. How do you prepare yourself mentally to play with that champion? Well, you have to stay calm on the ground. On the ground, what? You try to keep his focus. Calm. Um, last question, we can see that uh, he played um, a very good tactics during the second set and third set. He changed the tactics. Uh, what, what was the secret of this? In the in the match, he was after the second set, third set, he was very concentrated, and then uh, he tried to get focus on the second and third. He won difficult, and uh, he won uh, hardly. Yeah. Hardly. Congratulations, Sabri. Congratulations. Good luck. Merci. Wish you the best. You and your team. Thank you. Merci. And, uh, uh, big up for his mother, his family. Yes, yes, yes. Just, just send a message for your family if they are watching you. Mama, I love you too. Thank you, thank you. Merci. Yes. Well, we catch up with this game between. Egypt and Algeria, the second men singles. Already Algeria are leading 1-0 Salah with a chance to bring them level. Black Pearl. Yeah. We saw Salah having a distress, disastrous outing against the South African this young Robert Somers this morning. Yeah. What do you think is going through his head right now? Uh, but I think, I don't know, he was not so focused this morning. He played not so good. But I think uh, this match, I think, is going to be play better. That's what I think. And the way the start of the match, is what, uh, I think it's leading. I think it's more better. That's what I think. Yes, uh, Salah, one of the pillars of Egyptian badminton been there Done so that. many years <laughs> lovely lovely play from Bellaby Bellaby known for his heavy smashes but uh, this uh, time round it's like people know that is his play and they really have good defense against him we okay. saw Bongut was it Bangut from Maurice yeah uh, really taking him all the way 
to the third game. Yeah, but you know, in men singles, you need to have good defense. If you don't have good defense, then it's easy to lose the matches. You know, it's good defense. It's important to have good defense. So, because in men singles, everything, 70% of the shadows go down, smash, 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 smash. So, yeah, it's important. Definitely important. Yeah, As we see, Salah. Salah. Really good. Yes. Nah, that's... Oh, yeah. Yeah. El Belabi taking the lead. And good job. Oh, hello, 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 so, so, so. Oh, hey, lovely. Hey, that hey, was hey, a hey, gift hey, to Salah. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, 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 so. Good year, no? Good year. Unforced error yeah. from Belabi, bringing Salah back to the game. Again, misjudgment. And misjudgment again. Yeah. Well, joining me here again is the one and only athlete chair. <laughs> Always ready to talk to the athletes. Donald. Say something about this game. Well, we've seen the the biggest upset of this uh, 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 championship. Adam has gone down to Middle. This was uh, uh, very unexpected, in my opinion. But uh, this is the sweetness of badminton. Anything can happen. It's I know, I know. But, but in a way, you have to know. I expect, I expect, uh, I expect that uh, I'll come out to win. But in a way, when you play badminton, anything can happen, you know. So, but Egypt needs to win this match to stay in the game. Yeah, with the, with the experience uh, that comes along with Salah, I'm very positive uh, this one is going to to be very tough for the Algerians uh, to climb. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Salah is one of the most experienced uh, athletes uh, now, eh? yeah, in this uh, all tournament. Yeah. So I believe uh, he, uh, he's going to carry Egypt uh, uh, all the way. And uh, should he do that, he's going to, to give them very big hope. So he knows what is at stake.
Salah is not playing really well. It's making it easy and for Elas, I don't know what's happening. That's a very slow start from uh, Salah. Uh, it's not like him. Yeah. And uh, it looks like uh, Belabi has gained a lot of ground in this yeah. uh, first uh, set. But, uh, you know, it's not yet over because Salah is one player that I know who turns uh, misfortunes into fortunes. Yeah. So it's not one play you can let, uh, you can write off easily. So let's see what happens. Ah, oh, what a net by Salah. Yeah. That's... Uh, uh, Salah is made off. That's no, okay. Yeah, Salah is coming back in the game. Yeah, he's more composed uh, yeah, than the composed, first uh, yeah. uh, half of the game. You can see his strokes have improved and the patience uh, is there, he's following the game. He has breached the deficit mm. from 5 now to 3. So it's 12-15. Uh, 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 so slowly the gap is uh, bridging. There we yeah. go. Yeah. The deficit again has uh, dwindled a little bit. Now it's two points uh, difference between the two athletes. So if it uh, catches up, I don't think uh, Belavi is... Um, okay, I'm here with Al Khatib, one of my great friends. Yeah, hey, it's been yeah, a long time. You, long I'm time great, I'm see. great. Okay, um, the match is changing. What do you think is uh, Salah needs to do? To, because at the beginning of the first set, he was not really playing well. Yeah. But yeah. now he's back in the game. Yes. So, it's, yeah? in my opinion, I mean, the game in the beginning, he did so many mistakes. It wasn't consistent. He didn't yeah, know yeah. what to do. Yeah. There's no tactic in the game, but... Yeah. Uh, but right now, I mean, he's uh, getting back in court, and I see that he changed the racket. The racket seemed to have a problem because I didn't see any power in his shots. Uh, uh. Now the power is not good for the lifts because too many mistakes again, but mm. at least he will be able to attack from behind. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah but did you but see the, the first... The first um, uh, I haven't seen the first few points. I just arrived like yeah? five minutes ago. Five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. So how was your flight to Uganda? Uh, it, it was long. I had to travel from Berlin to Hamburg and then from Hamburg to Dubai, Dubai yeah. to here. You live in five. Berlin? Yeah, I live in Berlin. So I'm close to you, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I want to visit one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're always welcome. You're always yeah, welcome. Yeah. Well, uh, I live in Africa. <laughs> you can visit me. Well, welcome. <laughs> Ali, welcome to the comms unit. Thank A you, member man. of our comms unit. Yeah. A very, very talented you, Young man who's been helping us deliver all the news <laughs> to the people in Africa. Thank you so much for the good job you're doing for us. Ali Khatib from Egypt. Thank you very much. Black Pearl, Uganda, 
a silence. Why is that? Uh, I have to ask a question. Have you ever won the Africa Championship or finals? Sorry, I have. Have you ever won the Africa Championship? No, I never won it uh, in individuals. In individuals. No, only finals. Only uh, finals. Uh, it's not in singles, in doubles. In doubles. In singles, I got uh, semi-finals. Semi-finals. Okay. Yeah. We have one of our African greats here, one of the African greats players. So it's a good community. So today the commentary, it's one of the players, so we can analyze the games well. So you know. Yeah. It's been a long time. Why, why aren't you playing? I mean, come on, it's for fun. I mean, I'm playing. <laughs> he played in the 60s. <laughs> I mean, uh, we're, we're not that old, right? I know. I, don't, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But I don't, I don't want... Let the young guys play, you know? Let I mean, the of young, course. I mean, let the young guys. <laughs> if you play, you still give them a chance to earn some experience. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's good for you to have fun. But I practiced with them this morning, anyway. Okay. Uh, with the, uh, that, that's yeah, good. Yeah. But now, uh, Salah is not... Every time Salah plays lift, yes, it's not really exactly. ready. Because now uh, I see uh, uh, Karim, Arim changed some movement. He's not really smashing that yeah. much anymore. Yeah. If the shadow goes high, he's using half smash or it drop. Yes. Yeah. He needs to. Yeah. He needs to stop doing so many mistakes. Yeah. Just like now. I mean, it's it's super fast. You just need to, and you. Just don't be able. To yeah, you get the chance to attack, you attack. But yeah, but, uh, but let me let me let me ask Egypt. You have a really good project now. You know, I see a lot of young yes. girls, young players. It's it's really good project. She's an African champion. Yes, in you. Yeah, in the youth. Under 19. Yeah, yeah. and uh, the young guys too, the young girls and the young guys too. I think that's a really good project. Yes, you know? yes, but I I can foresee a problem in the future because these are the. Only the only ones we have right now. I mean, after them, mm. we still uh, we're we're a little bit behind. There is a big gap mm -hmm. between the level of these young players that we have in the in the senior national team mm -hmm. and the next generation. So there is a slight gap here, but I hope it will close over time. Let's hope, hope so. Hadia produce some kids again because you hopefully have a, she has an academy, right? Yeah, she does. Yes, she, let's hope. Let's hope. It's been a few years. She has an. She has yeah. multiple academies right now. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think she's uh, managing multiple academies in Egypt yeah, yeah. right now. Yeah, but it's the same. In Uganda now I see a progress in Uganda because yeah, I see we have a lot of young players, young girls. As yeah. you see, she's uh, just 17 years old. Oh, wow. I think they played together in uh, the youth championship. Ah. Yeah, and I see Fadir. Yeah, they're all like uh, 20 and below. So but it was obvious from like a few years back. Yeah, I remember yeah. I played against Brian. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. When he was like just maybe... 13 or yeah. something <laughs> and and I knew that okay this 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 player will be really good I played yeah. against him I don't remember with Zambia I think yeah, 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 yeah. and I was like wow I was amazed because I had to put an effort to win this match yeah, uh, yeah. W and he was like just 13 or 14 and I, I mean I was in my top form so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so I was really yeah, I remember that tournament you went to the two semi-finals yes, right? yeah yes. yeah that I won uh, I won that one or you won that one yeah yeah <laughs> yes yeah, yeah. We, we I lost against you actually Oh it yeah! The, it was the one time that we played the 20 to 20. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's get let's get back to the game. Okay. Yes. Talking yes. again now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I hope. I hope Salah so changes his game. Yeah. Just because I'm from Egypt. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Ta tactically. <laughs> tactically. Tactically. Yeah. But I think he needs to play a little bit aggressive. Yes. Exactly. His game is too soft. Yeah. 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 Yeah, ah, but cool. but he needs to change the pace. Rallies, yes. rallies, and then he increases the speed. Yes, exactly. And then again, rallies, rallies, and then increase the speed. Exactly. Because I think um, Karim will be a bit tired, you know? Yeah. And yeah. Salah, I think, is a bit fit. He's a bit fit, yes. I think. Oh, what a drop, what a drop.
It was out. That's uh, yeah. I think the shadow was going out. Yeah. Out to out. So. Yeah, out to out. Yeah. Out to more out. I would <laughs> say. <laughs> so, what's your hopes tomorrow? Uh, have fun. That's my goal. <laughs> I just want to have fun and enjoy my game. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. good. That's good. That's oh, a good one. What, that's a good one. What a cross that, shot. That's, that's what he needs to do. The yeah, cross yeah. shots and the aggressive ones, the yeah, fast yeah, ones, the fast not, one, not yeah. just the slow paced ones. Yeah. That's a nice shot. It's going to be a tight game. This is going to be tight. What a rally. Yeah. Yeah, good smash. You see, when he plays aggressive, he yeah. wins the point. Yeah. So far, playing. Come on, Salah. Come on, Salah. Out. Yeah, but Salah is now making still again and for Ella's, you know. You stay a bit focused. Out. Actually, uh, actually Salah has changed. The, the selection of his uh, strokes have improved. As the scene is now, uh, Belabi is working more, uh, more than uh, he was doing in the first set. And uh, Salah has become more uh, offensive at the moment. So uh, if, he, if he continues putting so much pressure on, uh, on Belabi like this, I'm sure uh, maybe this set might go his way. It, it, will, it will also depend on how Belarabi will react to this change of play. So uh, if he also changes his way of playing and, and like counter play this uh, tactic that Salah is putting into the game, this will change the set. This will change how the set is going. Exactly, exactly. Belabi is a very skillful yeah, uh, that's athlete. Smart, yeah. he, has, he has really improved uh, in all his strokes. He's, he's very solid. The only aspect is he's a little bit slow in uh, most of uh, yeah, but the rear. The rear. And, so so yes. and then when he gets support exactly because it, it still controls the run well and he covers the post well but exactly but he put a little bit the level a bit higher not not exactly you know Ah, oh, that was a lovely yes. piece of sight. We're cutting to the interview section.
our media team taking over. Welcome back to All Africa Senior Championships 2022 Women's Team Event Final Egypt, Egypt versus, versus Uganda. Uganda. Second, Second match won again by Egypt. To zero. Congratulations to the first. first. It seems like European performance has been improved during this match. We can see you control the match from the beginning. You played against Tracy in the group stage, and I think it was 2 1. But now you managed to do it to zero. So, so what happened? What is the difference? And what was the coach's advice to you? And how you prepare yourself before this game? Well, uh, today I was happy because the shot was great, and uh, uh, I managed to control the shot more, and I did the last mistakes. Uh, the first set uh, was uh, really great. The second set uh, I was uh, I, I won till uh, the interval 11-2, but then I. I didn't, I didn't control, control the match, I did some mistakes, and um, um, it, it, it went well. So, the two games up for Egypt, just one game, one more match for the gold medal. So, how are you feeling now? It's one match shift to the gold medal and to qualify for the second time to the world to the second championship. How are you feeling? Well, I'm here. I'm here so proud of my team, all of my team actually. And I really hope we win the third match and take the gold medal again. And uh, we are so excited. The, uh, if we win both, uh, the gold medal again was amazing. So, yeah. I really hope to take the gold medal. For sure, your family and your friends are watching you live. Yes. You want to send any message to them? You have free now to send a message to your family? Actually, I want to thank them all for supporting me. My mom, my dad, my sister, my brother, and all of my friends because they actually supported me a lot. And even um, yesterday when I had a really bad performance in the last match, they uh, supported me, encouraged me, and they all called me. So uh, thank you so much for everyone. Congratulations. Wish you the best. Good luck. Thank you. I think Salah should not play more push push because Barab is more um, uh, Dawes player. Yeah, yeah. So Salah he needs to practice more them around him. Yes. And then he can play the counter attack. Like, yes. Uh, he when he's not expecting, it's like fast. Yeah. It's fast. So yeah. I think that can work. He has to change the pace. Yeah. Not only play flat and not only play. Pace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. I think there's a time I went to uh, Bodo because uh, the Algerian two Algerian players live in Bodo. Um, oh, him Barabi and yeah. uh, his partner. Uh, what's his name? The partner? Uh, Adel. 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 Yes, I was there and then I practiced with them. I think two years ago, and I had fun practicing with, uh, the, oh. with them. Yes, it was really good. Yeah, it's really nice to practice. The, I, I practiced in. I practice now in Berlin, and I uh, I also practice few times in Toulouse because uh, yeah. that's where my wife is from. Oh yeah. So it's when French? I go, yeah. All right. So when I go back with her to her uh, parents, I just go to the nearest club and practice with them there. It's really nice. Yeah. But let's get back to the game. Now it's even. It's uh, 14 all. Now I think Barab is controlling the net. All over. Yeah, after. But I think the head to head between both players is in. Uh, 
Yeah, but but I don't know. Even this morning, Salah did not did not bring his A game. He did not play well this morning. So that was the yeah. Yes, uh, Salah having a problem uh, with Robert Summers in the morning. Yeah, but even this morning, he didn't play with that, yeah. that really well. I wasn't able to watch, but yeah. Yeah, maybe it's not his day. Ah, oh, what a smash by Salah. Yeah. You see when he when he, when he get when he take the niche, take everything high high high. Yeah. When he plays slow, he has more time. Yes, because Barabi likes that. Oh, what a net play! What a net play! What a net play! trying to play so tight that's why it's easy to make mistake you know oh. unlucky unlucky, unlucky. yeah Critical point. That's a really <laughs> yeah, but it's part of yeah. we have no challenge, you cannot challenge yeah, here, so <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Good and that's wow, a nice nice back back smash. Smash, yeah. yeah, that's a nice man. I think if Salah focus and avoid the unforced errors, he could actually bring back the game. He can do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, he 20, 20. Yeah. He made it, 20. Yeah. So the pressure is on Barabi now. Yes. On the other side, I think. Uh, Egypt is leading 2-0. Man. This kind of yes. aggressive, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Really high, but. Uh, 
I think it was really close to the net. Yeah. Even the... But it was more into him. It's a very, very tight set. And this next point is really critical. Yeah. Whoever takes the advantage this time. Middle, 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 middle. These are very costly at this point. Oh, what a blessing. We made it. What a rally, what a rally, what a rally. It's a great rally. Yeah. Drama unfolding in these finals. Salah asking the fellow players, send the support. From Salah. Yeah. Oh I my! To play this kind of game. Try to oh. be a little bit more aggressive. Be a little bit more aggressive. Chase the shot. To take the initiative. Advantage. Yes. Advantage, Salah. from Salah. Yeah, he does it. He did, he did it. Oh my. What cool <laughs> confidence. What, a, what, what a, confidence. What a, what a beautiful. What a fight. Oh my. Drama from Salah. Oh, welcome back. Salah back in this game. 1-1. One, one. Yeah. <laughs> nice between the legs yeah, the uh, defense yeah. yeah that was really nice and it was needed this point yeah yeah now he yeah. won the set and he they both have to struggle for a third set to see who wins this i think the game the, the last set was really like in in both players favors was going to uh, Salah in the beginning, then the Arabi was able to catch up, and then he was in the lead, and then Salah was able to catch up in the in the end. So that was really nice. But I think I think Salah, uh, when he had 18, he did well to compose himself, yes. and he could come back in the game. That was really really good. Yes. So that means he had the nerve. He took all his nerve, and then in the end, he took the initiative. Like he was attacking, he was forcing, forcing, forcing. That was good. He forced the attack and then he got the attack. Yep. At the beginning, uh, he was playing a little bit slow. Yes. And then when he took the, the force to force the attack, he was, it was really good. And I think the third set will not be any different. It will be going and coming back for both players. I don't think there will be a dominant player in this last set. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Berabi didn't know what to do because uh, he slowed down the game. He did everything, like because he is not a really fast player. But when he plays flat, flat, he can take it. Yeah. You know. So. Oh, what a smash! Yeah. What a smash! What a smash.
That was really nice. That's what he had to do. Yes. But uh, but in the last set, Salah had really pretty solid defense yeah, uh, in yeah. the in the last few points, especially. Oh, that's unlucky. But it was good. It if was it, correct. If he went for it, it was just unlucky. He went yeah. for it, it was just unlucky. unlucky. Yeah. Oh, oh hey. yeah, that's a that's beauty. A really nice but, but that was a bad, that was a bad decision. Uh, the rabbi made. He yeah. played straight smash. Yes. Okay, because it's, it's so far to play cross cross uh, smash. Yeah. The drift is back in the hole. Yeah. The drift. He has he has good luck in this in this hall. He played finals in oh, Uganda Open yeah. seven years ago. That was a long <laughs> no, time. not seven years ago. Seven years, man. 2015. 2015. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it was. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was seven years ago. I can't believe it. Time yeah. flies. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice shot. Yeah, that's perfect. You see man. what he's doing, Salah? He's trying to. Push, 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 yes. and he get the advantage. Yes. But I think Raheem too needs to try to compose himself and bring himself back in the game. Yes. But now he's still playing a bit slow, slow, slow. He needs to try to play a bit aggressive. Yeah. It's going the same uh, pattern as yeah. the second set. Yeah. Salah is in the lead in the beginning. Let's see if Bel Arabi will be able to catch up and bring back the game. Yeah, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. It's fascinating how they are able to control the shuttle when it's so fast like this. Yeah, yeah. Nice smash. Good follow up. What a net what shot. A net shot. What I think that was shot. beautiful Salah to follow up. Good smash and follow up was yep. good, was good, was good. Amazing rally. Yeah. Five three for Salah. Yeah. Amazing smash. He, he knew that he's gonna play yeah. that, so he, he already went before Salah played. He was anymore. prepared. Yeah. And for Sela. You cannot make yeah. unfor and for Sela with service. Yeah. Not at this point. Not at this point, yeah. Yeah, that's a good push. Okay. That's a good push. Yeah. That's a good initiative. A good push push. Yeah, yeah. Again, yeah. Salah's trying to force so much. Again, it's uh, Abel Arabi is again catching up with Salah, yeah. and it's six all now. Yeah, nice, good shot. Black Paul, the way the game is going on. In this encounter between Egypt and Algeria, do you think it's still going to go to the wire?
Yeah, I think so. But this game is really crucial for Egypt. Oh. Uh, yeah, and for ah. Sela. This game is really crucial for Egypt and Algeria. The person who wins this match, it can go. It still can go both ways because uh, I think Algeria that was the strongest time. Yes. So yeah, it can still go both ways. You know? Yeah, I. So, but this game, tactically, if you have good ta tactics in this game, now what's going on? You win the match. Yeah. You win the match. What do you think? Yeah, I, I really think this is crucial for Egypt. Yeah. Um, it will either bring back Egypt into the game or, or it will give a, a huge advantage to the Algerian team yeah. because the, their doubles are really good. Yeah. So if they win this match, yeah. they will need only one more match and they have two doubles and even a third single to try. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if, if Egypt wins, this, we're back to one all yeah. and then we're back in, again into the, the game and we'll see what will happen in the third singles and that will be the decisive one. Yeah. But we can see the, the, the game is coming and going to Egypt. Like yeah, Salah, is, uh, he has a good grip on the match and then uh, a couple of points. But I think for this errors. one, he should have gone for smash, actually. I mean, any fast shot would do, but uh, at least not an error. Yeah, Just don't make an error. <laughs> but I, I, the, the aggressive play, it, it's a must in this, in this match. Yeah. No, but with patience, eh? yes. not just yeah, aggressive, exactly. while aggressive. Yeah. And this is a bad lead. Yeah. Every time, every time Bel Arabi plays on Salah's backhand, yeah. he anticipates the straight one. Yeah, yeah. He anticipates it and he gets it very well. That's something, that's something Salah needs to change. Mm. It's a good shot. Yeah, that's, a good good, that's a good shot. But I think Salah now is getting into his grip, so he's playing a bit better now. Yes. But still, tactically, the person, the, the player who has a good tactics in this match, he wins the match. Yep. Tactically. I agree. Yeah. But now Salah is in, uh, I think Barabi is in a good side with a drift. Yeah. So it's going to be a bit difficult for Salah, but Salah needs to try to control the net then. Because I think this one, Barabi is going to come play more net, net, net play. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just need uh, to find out, and you, both of you have played on this court. And uh, us as commentators, we've already realized we know the good side and the bad side. How come, you know, players are still making the same, same mistakes and they're not realizing that if you're playing from the further side, you need to avoid clears or trying to, because the drift is all, always going to push the shuttle out. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, actually set uh, in the same way it was actually put uh, or it, yeah, 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 in the other way around so it was four courts uh, that's the first thing second thing the shuttle uh, is really fast that within the match I mean it actually controls your tactics so you, you're limited with your tactic choices because uh, the shuttle is so fast you cannot just uh, rely on lifting or normal uh, gameplay so if someone is has no um, like uh, no good net play, for example, he will have a hard time in this kind of uh, conditions, right? Because you really need net play in this uh, conditions. Yeah. I, I I I agree with you. Yeah. It's the same even now because if what is same even the whole still have the drift. Yes. So if you don't have a good net play, then still uh, you have an advantage. Yeah, you're gonna have a, uh, troubles to uh, to play. Because yes. still, uh, the drift, it, the drift, drifts, the drift. Because this hole it's a bit faster. One side is faster, and one side is slow. Yeah. So then you need to control. When you're on uh, a slow side, you need to control. Sort of when you're in a faster side, you need to control. Yes. The, the only need... thing you have to do is play net, net, and yes. just play down. Exactly. And then the opponent which plays the, the drift goes on the other side of the opponent. So you have to play down. Too. Yeah. You know, it's 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 a tricky, tricky, tricky hole. Yes. If, if you're on the side where the shuttle is fast, yeah. you just net and smash, because yeah. your smash will be even more powerful. Yeah, it goes um, fast. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Now, it, uh, the Rav is coming back in the game. Yes, it's a very tight set. Yeah. yeah. Controlling the net. Yeah, control the net, because he knows he's in the side yes. where the drift is. Yes.
That's a close call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's out. Good, 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 good judgment. Call. Good judgment. Good call. Yeah, yeah. Now it's thirteen all. Yeah. What I see, Berebi, when he plays on Saras Bakan, is already taking his forehand yes. side. Yes. So uh, Salah needs to change a bit. Yeah. Good net. Good yeah, net that's a good net play. Good net play. That's a good net play. I think that's exactly what Salah needs to do. He yeah, needs yeah. to attack and just control his net. Yeah, yeah. But every time he needs to attack, he needs to follow through. Yes. Follow, follow, follow. It's a good one. What a recovery from Belarabi. Wow. Oh, what, what a shot by shot. Salah. Amazing shot. I, I think Barabi needs to be more... Uh, I don't know. He's still he needs to try to control the net. But now he's trying to play... Uh, because Salah is more aggressive. I think Barabi needs to play a little bit, bit softer yeah. to the net and then he can have more because his attack is, is good. Yes. So he needs to use more his attack, Barabi. He's still playing Salah's game. Yeah, yeah, now, for now. Right now. Yeah. Interview. Welcome back to Africa Senior Championship 2022 Women's Event Final. Yes. Egypt against Uganda. Yes. Now Uganda is back. Yeah. To one to Egypt, but Uganda is coming back again. Yeah. Um, it was quite controllable match regarding to the point 21-8, 21-8. It seems like you come very confident. You don't care about what happened in the, in the last two, um, two matches. Yes. You managed to do it. So just tell us how you managed to do it and what did you expect in the next. Yeah, I knew, my, I, I saw my, my fellow teammates lose the first two singles. I told myself not to go under pressure because we can still bring it back. I went on court with no pressure. I listened to my coaches and did what they told me. I studied the game well and maintained the pace. So, and uh, now, still Egypt is leading 2-1. The next match is a deciding. So, what did you expect? Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not... I'm not demoralized, I'm not feeling low because I trust my teammates, they are going to fight, they are going to put up the best performance and we will bring it back. We hope we bring it back. Congratulations for this game, wish you and your team all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So right now, um, Bel Arabi is catching up again with Salah, and now uh, he's marking the game again. Yeah, it's 16-17. It's, it's always, uh, really, yeah, it's always someone going. takes the lead and someone. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I expected in the beginning. <laughs> it's gonna be Tight. coming and going. What a shot! That's an unfortunate mistake for yeah. Bel Arabi. No, but he thought it was going on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, misjudgment. Yeah. Oh, that's too much. Too long. Yeah, too long. Too long again. Yeah, but that's good. He's he, he went for it. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. But he went for it. That's good.
Now Salah has to come back yeah. to his net shots and attack. So right now Bel Arabi is controlling the net and he's attacking. Uh, he, he anticipates this one all the time. It's the same, the same point, repeating again and again from Salah's backhand. A straight shot, a straight drive, yeah. and then Bel Arabi is anticipating it and just attacking. Yeah. Do you think Salah will have a, the same belief he had I mean, in the second game? I mean, it's the same game? exact situation. It's the same so exact situation? It's the same exact You never situation. know. You never know. Oh my, such drama. <laughs> this match was really crucial for Egypt. Yeah. Now I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's a, the crucial point for Algerian team. That's done. Unforced error. And it ends the game. No, it's a good fight. That was a very good fight. You can see how happy the Algerian team is. Because right now they they have the higher hand because they yeah. have the doubles and uh, they only need one more match in the three next matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so unfortunate for Egypt and for me. <laughs> Well, it's not yet over for Egypt. It's not over. I mean, it's just 2-0. Uh, Remember, we still have another men's singles, the third one, and two men doubles. So Egypt have all the time uh, to recover and definitely. still win. But uh, Algeria on their way to defend their title. Yes. They Black Pearl. But, uh, Somewhere at the back of my mind, do you think we are going to see a repeat of the same winners this year? They are one, they are one foot there. Yeah, they are one, they are one foot there. Yes. One foot there. What about in the for, women's For both, events? women's and for men's. Yeah, because even, even, uh, it's the same situation. Same situation. They need one more match. Yeah. So most likely we are going to see the same, same winners yeah. of uh, 2020. Yeah, it's one foot there. They are one yeah. foot there. Yeah. So the only thing is to try to stay, stay focused, to win one match. Yeah. Only one match they need. Egypt needs one match, uh, Algeria needs one match. Yes. Wow. I, I, know, I know sometimes this is difficult, but still you need to compose yourself. Yeah, You know, Definitely. just to compose yourself to say, okay, we, we, you believe in yourself, you want to go and do it. You want to go and do it, you know. It's their one foot there. Yes, in the women's team event, coming up is the first women's doubles. Oh. Doha Hani, Jana Hesham versus uh, Brenda Wori and Tracy Naluza. Uh, how do you think this game is going to be? Uganda needs to win this to stay in. They need to win. To stay in because they are 2-1, two, 2-1. One, two, one. Egypt is uh, up an advantage. So that's all that can happen, you know? Yes, okay. a good combination between uh, Brenda and Tracy Naluza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Brenda think... more of an attacking player. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I cannot believe the way I, because I stress the way she's playing. And unfortunately, she lost, but she has... Welcome back to All Africa Senior Championship men's team event. Um, finals between Algeria and Egypt. Algeria is leading to zero. One more match to the gold medal. But let's talk about the match. It's very, very, very strong and powerful comeback from you. You were in the third set, you were behind 17-15, but you managed to win 21-18, which is a very, very good comeback and a very strong comeback show. How do you feel and how did you manage to do this? Thank you so much. I'm so, so, so happy uh, of my performance. Uh, it's, uh, it's amazing for me, for my, for my team. I'm so, so happy. Uh, Ahmed Salah is a very, very good player. Uh, the match is a match with uh, so much tension. My goal is uh, concentration, 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 and uh, to play step by by step. So and uh, and now as we can talk before we talk before that 
Algeria won the last time, the last edition of the Thomas Cup. So it's one more match to the gold medal. How do, one more match to the gold medal. How do you feel and what did you expect in, in the next match? Yes. We, we wait, uh, we wait uh, the next match. Uh, one point for gold medal. Uh, we are so happy. Now uh, time to relax and to support uh, Adel and inshallah victory for, for him yeah. and for Algeria. My, my last question. We see the Algerian delegation, Algerian embassy, ambassador is here. How this can affect you, give you the, um, let's say, support and encourage to, to play? It's very important to, to show uh, the badminton uh, at uh, the ambassador from uh, Algeria. It's, 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 it's good. It's good. Uh, I think it's good exp experience for, uh, for, uh, for the ambassador because uh, the badminton is so, no, so much popular. Now uh, it's important for the ambassador to show uh, uh, what uh, the, uh, the badminton is amazing, it's fast, it's uh, so, so power. It's, uh, it's cool. Congratulations. Take rest. We we see you again. We choose the best and for your team. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Welcome back. This is the third men's singles in the men's team event. Algeria in the lead 2 0. Mustafa Kamel needs to win this game to keep Egypt in contention. Beautiful, beautiful smash and beautiful start from Mustafa Kamel. Yeah, once again, it's uh, wonderful to be back. Uh, we are witnessing the third uh, main singles uh, between Egypt and uh, Algeria. Uh, uh, Egypt has uh, just uh, lost grip of the second game, just like they did in the first game. We are hoping uh, something is going to be different for the Egyptian team uh, who are trolling by 2-0 against uh, Algeria. 
uh, Edwin, welcome back to this third uh, singles match between Algeria and uh, uh, Egypt. Yeah, it's uh, unfortunate. Uh, I don't say unfortunately. It, this is this match is quite crucial for Egypt. Egypt needs to win this match. Exactly. If they win this match, they stand the tie. Algeria needs it too, to win 3-0, uh, or to defend their title as the African giants again. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see, because the, the match is just beginning. Um, as I see, Mustafa is playing really well. He's controlling the net and uh, he's attacking. Yeah. Let's let's see let's see let's see how, how is it tactically because I need to see the tactically so then I can uh, analyze the games. Uh, full service. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, Amek uh, is one of the uh, uh, complete players that uh, Africa has ever produced. Mm. So this uh, match is going to be uh, uh, a 50-50 uh, situation. Uh, that's uh, my uh, op opinion. Yeah, but this is up up upcoming player, young young player. He represented Africa in uh, Olympics uh, four years ago, I think. Right? It was four years ago. Yes, indeed. Uh, that's uh, five years ago. Uh, yeah. uh, I think uh, he's the only player in Africa who has ever minted a, a medal at the Olympics. So in badminton. In badminton. So. Uh, he has a lot to offer for his uh, national uh, team, Egypt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's, let's, let's see what he's going to bring on the table. Because for now he's playing really well. I, I see he's controlling the, the, uh, the match. Because now he's, he's in the lead. Uh, f uh, five points ahead. Yeah. But Ramik needs to play a bit better. Ramik needs to play a little bit better. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Right now he's not playing. He's not. Uh, he's not playing his game. He needs to try to control more. Yep. Unforced error. Yeah, I can see players are sizing each other. We are yet to see the best from both uh, athletes. But Ramik is quite a talented player. His, his strokes are really good. It's so beautiful to watch when he's playing. Exactly. So uh, very, very, very flowery yeah. uh, guy. Mr. Stylish, we call him. Yeah. Wow, that's a good smile. That's a good smile. Indeed. Those are his uh, favorite jump smashes. Yeah. And if you continue giving him such a loose uh, lift, uh, you, that's what you get. Unfortunately, that was a gift. We call it "Thank you, Jesus." <laughs> but Jesus, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jeff uh, with his uh, cheetah cheats. Yeah. It's good, but I, I see some players are not playing inside the court. You know, they all want to control the net. But sometimes you can block in the shadow very fast, so the opponent cannot cannot control the net. Yeah, the problem has been uh, this shadow is a little bit uh, strange for most players. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very difficult to control. No, no, but so some... even uh, the last uh, Africa Championship, yeah? players were saying they are not used to uh, the young young uh, brand. So it's very difficult to to control the shadow. So the net, if you get the net. You, you control the game. Yeah. So you, it's difficult to push because if you push, most of the time the shots are going out. No, no, what I said is not pushing to block the shadow inside, far in the court. So the opponent cannot spin. Yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah, yeah sometimes yeah. you come, you play spin, and another opponent plays very good spin. Sometimes yeah. just block it in, block it in, yeah. push the shadow in. So he cannot spin. Yeah. Okay, I see, I see what you mean. Yeah. Ah, oh, what a smash by Ramik. What a smash, what a smash, what a smash. Yeah. Those are his favorite jump smashes. Yeah. 
you give him the chance to do such kind of uh, 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 strokes, I am sure you'll be in trouble. Go. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. Yes. From dive to attack. Exactly. From the defense to attack. That's a beauty. It's not, it's so, okay. what do you think that Mustafa needs to change? What do you uh, think that Mustafa needs to do? Uh, basically, uh, in this in this match, uh, if you if you if you observe, uh, Hamek has dug himself from the deep hole he was. He was trailing by five points mm -hmm. uh, against uh, Mustafa, and Mustafa became too comfortable. He became too comfortable with that and uh, the, uh, too comfortable with the lead and less concentration to him. And he has given out uh, very, very uh, cheap points mm. at some, some point. Yeah. And I think he, he should, if he has to change uh, the narrative, he has to be uh, very, very focused like he did the first uh, 10 points. Yeah, yeah, the first half of the, uh, yeah. of the first set. Exactly. out yeah in this situation in this I, I don't think if it's the far the shadow is fast but i think even there's a drift in the hole so you need to play more down sometimes block it in like the doubles yes like that so opponent cannot spin and then you have the opportunity to spin so then you can take the attack wow oh, that's a beauty net play he, That's unbelievable. Just like I'm saying, he who controls the net yeah, yeah. takes the point. Yeah, yeah. That is what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's very, very difficult uh, to, to control the net. Yeah. But if you manage to do that, mm -hmm. you take the point definitely. Yeah, that one. I'm talking about that, that kind of shot. You see? Then you have the opportunity. Uh, Mustafa, Mustafa is playing a bit better, but then he makes an post error because he's pushing the shadow inside the court. Not push, but just uh, lower inside the court. So Rami cannot spin. That's very good. But still, he plays well the rally, and then he makes an post error. What a shot by Rami. What a shot by Rami. What a shot. That was a beautiful cross uh, shot. I'm looking forward to seeing how Mustafa is going to dig himself out of uh, the three-point deficit. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You see, that's what, what he's doing now, Mustafa. He's playing inside the court, and then when you have the chance, to push on the body. Not so hard, but with the control. Exactly. Oh, what a service, what a service. That's what a beautiful service. service. Yeah.
Uh, the rugged does not. Yeah. That's a good smash by Rami. Exactly. Really good smash by Rami. And those are his favorite shots. Yeah. You don't you don't allow him to uh, jump like that. You have to play better lifts if you need to survive. Yeah. Good placing. Yeah, that's an easy and post Ella. Slowly, it seems uh, the young Mustafa is uh, digging, digging out himself uh, yeah. out of the the hole. Don't do this! Don't do this! Don't do this! Play away! Play away! Because exactly, it's back in the exactly. Game. Yeah. That's a nice lift. Yeah. Out. That's out. Exactly. Yeah. What? It was a. It was a good uh, smash, and but unfortunately, it played out. Exactly. It was well placed. Yeah. That was a good net play by Mr. Exactly. Unlucky, but it was good play. Good exactly. thinking, good controlling, but mm. just unlucky. Exactly. It's nine all. It's nineteen all. Oh, sorry, nineteen all. Thank you for correcting me. The the young Mustafa has managed to dug himself from the hole. Oh, wow. what a good defense. What a good defense. Beautiful defense. Yeah. It was quite a good smash, body smash, but it's, that's a good uh, lift flexion, eh? Good lift flexion. Oh!
that's a good uh, deception at the net and good play by Hamek. Exactly. Hamek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the ladies uh, championship, I can see the Ugandan uh, young players are playing some good uh, doubles, which is very encouraging. Now they were a bit uh, behind, now they are almost at par, it's 8-9. I think the young Mustafa needs to do to change, uh, to win the second, the second set. Um, I think he should not uh, uh, start slow. Mm -hmm. He should start uh, a, a bit fast. Yeah. Uh, what I mean by a bit fast is that he should not be trailing behind. He should be the one taking the lead because that is going to boost his confidence. If you have seen in this game, he was just trying to come back into the game. And that has costed him greatly. So if you can take uh, a, few sh a few points early, that is going to work well on uh, his psychological aspect. Yeah, because he was leading five points. Exactly, exactly, exactly. But he is losing concentration. That's a good drop. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. Very good. Very I good. see Ramik. Uh, Harmik is quite composed. He's playing really, really, really well. His tactic is going through the way he's playing. Control the net. Not always smash. Use the variation of drop. Sometimes smash. You know? And up smash. Uh, I can see uh, Harmik's. Uh, uh, stroke selection has improved. Yeah. Has it really improved? Yeah. It's difficult for staff at the point because then it's and now he's getting a little bit uh, frustrated. What do you think? Yeah. Because uh, right uh, Ah, that's a good follow-up. That's a good follow-up. That was some nice aggression coming from Mustafa.
Not bad, not bad. Recovery shot. Very good indeed. Yeah, good recovery shot. Wow, yeah. that was a lovely piece of uh, skill from Mustafa. He had to cut the shot, off, but he did so hard and low. Very interesting to watch uh, also yeah. women's finals between um, Egypt and Uganda. Egypt is uh, uh, ahead by two uh, to one. And now the crowd has just gone crazy because the young Ugandans are just turning the tables upside down. And uh, it's really interesting to see the the warm crowd uh, is giving them huge support. Controls the forward when uh, Mustafa smash, he just block the shadow inside. He's not playing short, he just block it inside. So Mustafa, Mustafa cannot spin the ball. So exactly. That's really good tactic. Yeah. That's really good.
I think Ramik is playing really well. It's, and it's controlling the all, it's controlling every rally he's playing. Uh, I think young, young Mustafa needs to change a bit of tactic because he cannot he cannot go through. Uh, you know the, the the Algerian player. What do you think he has to do? What do you uh, think he has to do? Uh, basically, he needs to work a little bit uh, more more harder if he has to change uh, the tables. The tactics, as it yeah. is as it is now, uh, Ahmed is playing very comfortably. Yeah. And uh, is uh, playing at his pace. Is uh, able to demonstrate his skills, like uh, in terms of variations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's got so many variations that. Uh, Hanged him uh, the but 11 I think points. I think it's choice of play for Mustafa. What do you think? It's choice of play. Exactly. That's what we are saying. He, he needs to he needs to find uh, his composure very well. Yeah. And his tactics should change a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a shot by Amek. What a shot by Amek. I think he's really composed and controlling every ladder he's playing. That's what we call an experience, you know? Exactly. And uh, Mustafa is quite young. He doesn't, you know? Oh, that's a good smash. That's a good smash. Yep, that's a good follow-up, eh? Smart Very and follow. Good. Yeah. That's a good follow-up, that's good. Inside. I was inside.
live drama happening right here at the Lugogo Stadium. Yeah, Algerians are on All the, the match live. On the match. On the scooping. Hamek. On the verge of making. Oh my god. Good play from Kamel. As I was saying, Hamek on the verge of making Algeria defend their men's team title. Donald, it's getting tense really. It's getting tense really here. It's getting tense. Oh, it's getting tense really. It's getting tense really. Not yet. I can see the Algerian players on their feet. Exactly. Anticipating the moment. And there it is! And there it is! And it's all over. Algeria is all have over. successfully defended Algeria their title. Successfully. Oh my! Damn. What sin! What was impossible Still. last year? The main champion Algeria oh beautiful 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 images men's team's champion and representative of Africa at the Thomas Cup finals in Bangkok Black Pearl. What beautiful images we are seeing. I think the all Algerian team played really well. The first match was crucial. When Algeria won the first match, everything turned. You know? So when every when Algeria won the first match, the first match was important for Algeria and Egypt. When Algeria won that match, everything changed. What do you think? Exactly, you are very right. There's nothing I can add to that analysis. It's very perfect. Yeah. Uh, welcome, uh, Elkatib is back with us in the commentary box. Elkatib, what did you uh, make of the win that has uh, just been uh, uh, made by the Algerian team? What, what, what? Can you repeat again? I didn't... Uh, wow. What, what do you think uh, of the win that the Algerians have just... Uh, I, think, uh, I, I think it's a, it's a good win for Algeria because they really had uh, a good advantage in the beginning when uh, Sabri uh, beat Adham. That was the very starting point and it was uh, unexpected but uh, he made it and that, w that really brought Algerian team one step uh, closer to the winning. Uh, to winning this uh, tournament and uh, they did it again. I mean, that was expected. That's what we expected but a few I, I minutes think, ago. I think what they did, they took their chances. Sorry? They took their chances. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they took their chances. Yeah. Every single chance. They yeah. didn't miss a single chance. Yeah, so yeah. So it was they pretty took clear. It. From the yeah. second match with Salah, he was pretty close, but still, Algeria was. Uh, Alge uh, Bel Arabi managed to win this match, and that uh, was 2 0 to Algeria, and that, that's, that's it. And now uh, the girls are playing, and that's uh, that's actually a pretty tight match as well. Yeah, indeed, uh, that's a very an uh, that's an honest uh, analysis, and uh, we can't take away anything from the Algerian team. They, it's a well it's a well deserved win. The interview is going to go on exactly.
n'importe quel nom. سعاده السفير استاذ وليد آه وجود حضرتك في المدرجات لمؤازره الفريق المنتخب الجزائري في النهائي اكيد اعطى دافع قوي للفريق الجزائري آه شعور حضرتك وانا شايف حضرتك متفاعل مع المباراه آه متفاعل مع الفريق الجزائري آه فريق الجزائري فريق قوي آه استطاع اثبات المرة الثانيه ان هو آه ما فيش حد بنقول يقدر على المنتخب الجزائري حتى الان آه شعور حضرتك وتقييم حضرتك لاداء الولاد او اللاعبين واللي اللي ممكن هم يقدموه قدام ان شاء الله. والله انا اعتقد انا لست خبيرا في هذه الشؤون ولكن اعتقد انه كان اداء رائعا وبالرغم من ان هذا الفريق نوعا ما هو ناشئ هو في طور ان شاء الله تطور ولكن اعتقد انه كان كان في مستوى مستوى رائع من اللاعب ويستحق كل التشجيع و ان شاء الله 
احنا ساعات بنستفيد استاذ وليد تشرفنا بوجود حضرتك جدا تاني مبروك للمنتخب الجزائري مبروك لحضرتك ومبروك للفريق مبروك للمدربين والاتحاد والاتحاديه الجزائريه وان شاء الله نشوفكم في اداء مشارك في بطوله العالم ان شاء الله وكذلك للاخوه المصريين ان شاء الله تشرفنا بحضرتك شكرا جزيلا
Yes, we're back on court two. As we watch Uganda play against the defending champions. It's a very good rally. Beautiful, beautiful play. Lovely play from the Ugandans. Oh man, black part continue right here. I think so, I'm opposite side against yeah, Al Khatib. We're against each other we're now. We're against each other here. <laughs> Uganda against Egypt. Yep. I think this is important match for Egypt too and Definitely. important match for Uganda. If Uganda wins, they come back in the game. Exactly. If Egypt wins, they win the tie. Yes. What do you think? Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, Uganda wins this one, it's a tie, and then the last match will decide who yeah, wins yeah, the yeah. tournament. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uganda definitely needs to win this one. Yeah. But Egypt, I mean, it's better if they do it now than later. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Egypt needs to win too because Egypt Definitely. Win, they win the tie. Yeah. You know? yeah. They either finish it now or we struggle again with another match from the beginning. Yeah. But it's really tight. I mean, it's third set and it's 9-10. Yeah, it's 9 10, It's yeah. really, really tight. Yeah. But uh, like we were saying, it's uh, too much pressure for young players. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, like uh, the young Egyptian, all when when the fans are going crazy like this, what happens? I mean, of course. I mean, she's yeah. only 17 years she's old. Only 17 and years old, yes. But she's doing pretty well, yeah. considering the age and experience she has. I mean, she's she's yeah. doing a great job. Yeah. But as I see, the, uh, Joe is quite experienced player. And yes. All this even all. Yeah, but I think we have a future in badminton in Uganda, but. They are trying because now it's a lot of pressure for all the young players. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It happened here in the singles, in the men's singles. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now this, the men are both Yeah, exactly. That's, That's unnecessary and it's, it's the, old young, so they don't know. the pressure. Sometimes we get so much excited. Yeah. Because the match is going on. Like a Ugandan, one of the Ugandan match, she's really excited. She's so excited. She doesn't know what's going on. And then she plays well, and then she starts and What do you yeah. think? Yeah, exactly. Uh, that, that's something very, very crucial in a third set in a match like this. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to keep uh, calm and control your nerves and uh, be able to play your game right because uh, otherwise, I mean, one unforced error is really uh, costly in, yeah. in, at this point. Yeah. But I can, as I was telling you, the, the match play is really. Like very flat, everyone, everybody is just pushing the, the shuttle very flat. Nobody is actually lifting high and, and relaxing. Yeah. It's so tight, it's so fast. So yeah, let's see how it goes. It's 11.10 right now to the Egyptians. Yeah. But still you have to keep your nerves because this yeah, match definitely. is really... It's really, really, really important for Egypt and it's important for uh, yeah. But But I, I'm, I'm wondering, I mean, the Ugandan players, are they like playing singles and doubles as well? No, 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 they're most singles players. They're all Mostly singles. singles. Yeah, yeah, same like the Egyptians. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can see now, like, uh, this is the reason why the four players on court right now are just playing, their, each one of them individually is playing a singles game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But actually, actually, what I see tactically is not really good. Yeah, exactly. And it's it's not really. Um, I mean, these kind of lifts. It, it's a singles a drive. Usually, people don't don't drive like this in in, in doubles. Yeah. You either push down fast one, or you actually lift yeah, high. Yeah, like, like 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 this like uh, this kind of point. Yes. The Ugandan girl, she's really excited. She just play play. Exactly. You know, just block That's it. That's the pressure. Don't try to play like hard. Just block it and let your opponent, yeah. your partner, finish the point. Yes. Yeah, I can see the the tension is going high for, on court to the both for teams. four of them, for the four of them. But uh, I think. Uh, 
the Egyptian team, they should stay down, Tabi. Yes. No, don't go for high yeah, service. Yeah, definitely. They down. The, you, yeah, the Ugandans' attack is really, really um, too, too much yeah. pressure yeah. on the Egyptians. Yeah. Wow, that's misjudgment, so misjudgment, yeah. yeah, but... 13 12 to the Ugandan. I do, uh, but yeah. I think the players want to take their time and try to calm down their yeah. nerves. Yeah. Uh, it's 14-12. Uh, 14, 14 for Uganda and 12 for Egypt. Yeah, that's, a good, that's a good one. That's a good receive, yeah. They really should control their shots. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's too flat. Too flat, yeah. You, you either have a good position to attack, or you yeah. just either drop, or you lift high in the sky. So you yeah, just yeah. lift, so you take your time defending. Yeah, yeah. It's quite crucial much for both teams. But again, that's the it's one of the problems we have in Africa. We don't have dedicated doubles players. It's not common in Africa. It's not very common. Yeah, but remember, some African uh, some of them were dedicated. Yeah, and those are the ones who were winning all the time. Yeah, <laughs> like South Africa, they do <laughs> exactly doubles, you know. Yeah, so exactly. They, but now maybe now not really good, but before South African doubles were yes. really really good. That's doubles true. They're really, really all those doubles are only. Yes, they were really good. But yeah, that's too flat. It's too pressure, too much pressure on her. When she lifts high, she has time. That's a good one. Amazing, amazing smash. That's, 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 it's a good rally. What I take. This is a poor, poor choice of shot by Uganda. Yeah, exactly. Why play that stay low. Yeah, stay low. Yeah. They, they, they also need to change the defense to offense. So. Yeah. They're defending, but they're defending always up yeah. high. Hard luck, hard luck shots. Yeah, That's yeah. a hard luck one. That's very tight. Yeah, it's really tight, yeah. It still can go both ways. Yeah, of course. Either way. 50-50. 50-50, yeah. You can see the Ugandan fans are going crazy right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's like, like Indonesia, you know? What yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the craziest fans ever, <laughs> Indonesia. <laughs> I remember when I played the World Championship, everyone was cheering at me. Every shot I was playing, Whoa! Yeah, yeah. Whoa! They're very uh, excited. Passionate. They're yeah, so passionate, passionate about with badminton. badminton. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, same flat, 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 yeah. The Ugandan are really close to to putting this into a tie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the tie gives uh, Egypt the pressure. pressure. Yes. That's a good one. Good smash from yeah, Ghana. Yeah. From where I'm sitting, I can see the stress in the Egyptian players. Really wanting to win this. Yeah, but look, this is this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. She plays the shot. Bad positioning. Bad positioning. It's really sh uh, bad shot. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Let's see. Nice. Good serve by Jana. It's amazing to play a serve like this when it's 17 all in the third set. Oh, it, she, she actually kicked it. 
she actually touched the shuttle. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's a good call from the Empire. That's a good call. No, she touched it. Yeah, she did touch it. Yeah. That's a good call from the Empire. This is stupid. I mean the, the only the only explanation is that maybe it hit the shoe and she didn't feel it but uh, but it's really uh, it's the umpire's call it's not actually the line judge's call yeah that's yeah sh maybe exactly. she doesn't understand the rule yeah M maybe yeah that's okay in the heat of the game you you actually go go blind yeah. You don't know what's going on. Yeah, but when they tell you hit the so, so then you need to come back and yes. propose. You, you need still to have focus. other shadows to play. Yeah. Because this this still can make you lose a match exactly. because it your 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 focus is going away. Yep. You went out of the game. Yeah. Yeah. So it's 18-19. Yeah. The Egyptians are leading with one point and they need two more points to win this. Yeah, it's so, it's so, this kind of game, it can go easily because all the players, sometimes the Egyptians go up and sometimes yeah. they're going to go up, so it's quite... Not consistent. Yeah, con inconsistent. Yeah. Another thing, there's no tactic, they're just playing. They're yeah, exactly. Playing. They're just hitting the shovel. No. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. That's the other way around. It's yeah, it's the other way around, yeah. Maybe it was wrong all this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But but that's wrong from the Ugandans to actually put their mind outside the game like this because yeah, because now uh, the Ugandans' mind is really focused outside the court more than inside the court and how they're gonna play with, with their tactic. But maybe because I'm sick. Yeah, but the umpire just did. So then you. No, but. Maybe he's calling. Yeah, yeah. He's calling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, it counts from the moment. He's even under us. He has to play now. Yeah. He has to forget. Yeah, just forget about just it and focus and on the match. Focus and play. It's 19 all. It's 19 all. <laughs> let, let it go. <laughs> just, just let it go and play. Yeah. So, the Ugandans have the match the point. point is, yeah, the match point, yes. Good one. Why is she Amazing. going in? You see, like, again and again. She's getting in. Yeah. They play straight and then she's she, getting in. She the shadow, yeah. yeah, but that's, but that's wrong. Completely that's wrong. That's wrong, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, ah, that was close. That was close. But I think it's a good call from the line judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, the Ugandans have a second match point. Yeah. And the Egyptians are really tensed. They have to hold in. Holding they have, to, to, they the have to hold in now yeah. for the matches. That's amazing received by, Do by Doha. That's where experience chip in. Yeah, 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 yeah. In this kind of situations, you need experience the most. It's 
a good net. Good attack. Nice shot by Jenna. Amazing shot by Jenna. That was wonderful. Now the Egyptians have their yeah, own. I, I don't know why you're going to go play the drop. Stay and attack, yeah. attack, attack. You have the shuttle here. Yeah. Why do you go for a drop? Yeah, that's, that's the tactic. Eh? Wrong tactic. Yeah. Now it's a uh, title point for Egypt. They have it. Are they going to win it? Oh, a good one. They won the title. They won the title. Yes, Egypt have won the title. Yeah. That's all right. It's wonderful. Good. Yeah. They get to keep their title from yeah. last year. And yeah. now Yeah, but I think the tactic for Ingano was uh, yeah. I don't know understand why you have their attack. And then you take the top smash yes. smash smash. Put them under pressure. Yeah. Put them under pressure. And they really took like mentally they were not so into the game. Yeah, they were yeah. focused too much on the line judge, on the empire. And, uh, uh, yeah. Calling the referee two times when it's nineteen all, it's not it's not the best. Emotional scenes. Well done to the world here at the Little Baby Stadium. <laughs> oh, well. Wow. Ugandans playing, playing really well. Oh, my God. Denied at the last minute. Denied at the last minute. Egypt defending their title. Having similar results. We had in 2020 Algeria managing to defend their men's title Egypt narrowly defend their title in the women's team event oh my what drama happening right here at the Bebe Stadium don't forget we shall immediately start the individual section of this tournament that was the men's team event and women's team event as going to represent africa at the thomas cup finals uganda such an improvement last year at the africa mix championships won bronze medal this year They've just won the silver. Maybe next year they are gold medalists. A big, big club. And kudos to Team Uganda. But Egypt have really, really fought for their life. Seven Uganda's on float. Remember, tomorrow we start the individual. We the individual matches at nine and bca will be bringing them to you live live on our youtube channel it's been a pleasure see you tomorrow And uh, finally, the champions of uh, women's team event, Egypt, second time. Congratulations, very tough game. The last game it was very tough, but finally you made it. Congratulations. What did you say? Uh, they do the best. And that are uh, expected from them to remain the title in Egypt. It was a very tough game, especially uh, in Uganda, final of Uganda. But uh, I'm very happy, and I'm sure they are very happy. And we are going to celebrate a little bit today and, this, and start the individual just uh, tomorrow, inshallah. Just one question. Doha, it's. You were not um, performing well at the first set, but finally you managed to win the second set. And third set, 
a huge support from Uganda and so many supporters. You play against Uganda. Uganda performed very well in this tournament. They showed that they're a very strong team, but Egypt got the experience. They know how to manage, and finally they win the title. So how did you manage with with the junior player, young player Jana, and you finally made that that uh, that medal? Actually, it was a very tough game. Uh, they are playing in their country and they are, um, they're, 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 they're huge supporters. Uh, so it's, um, it was very tough, but I'm very happy that we managed uh, to win this game. Uh, and I'm very proud of our juniors players and hopefully we will uh, get it in the individual as a goal also. Okay, okay, just one last thing. To you, all your supporters who see you in Egypt live now, what would you like to say to them? Thank you. With the flag. Okay. Tell me, let us be the honor of the